Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. This is the Tesla Model Y made in China and today I want to do a winter range test. Well, winter. It's the end of January here in Bavaria, Germany. That should be winter, but it's today it's sunny, it's five degrees and it's extremely windy. On the highway when I was just driving with uh, Walter, my ID3 here, I was the whole time ooh, 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 <laughs> because there were big winds and then stopping and so I was moving around. In this car I didn't feel it that well that strong so hopefully it's better in the wind or the wind the wind is a bit less. We'll see. Um, I still do the test today even though it's not perfectly winter. Winter would, for me would be minus five something like that but you can always have what you want and this is not my car. Uh, a very very nice a uh, channel member of mine, Paul, gave me this car today. He also gave me the car when he received it in September to do the first initial tests. Can see them. Where are we? Here. Links. <laughs> Here the playlist. But and, and he needs the car and I don't always have time and so today it's the day and we're go I'm just gonna do it. I'm starting here in Freising at the City Watt and it's a, it's a cool charging location. We have one, two, three, four, five. We have five, two CCS hyperchargers, but I only think one is a hypercharger and the other one is a normal 50 kilowatt charger. And some have type two as well. There's a Volvo XC40 charging. And it's just cool that there are at least five hyperchargers. I like that. Charging the car to 90%. Look at the beautiful car. Uh, they changed the software a lot since I drove it the last time in September. I had to find my way through the whole stuff. Um, uh, I charged to 90%, then I'm gonna drive in one direction. The highway is two kilometers away. We'll drive on the highway direction of Deckendorf and then Straubing and then uh, drive to 50% and then drive the whole way back and then we see um, the consumption, uh, the range, uh, then calculate it to 100%. I will drive at 130 kilometers an hour, GPS speed on this car that's 132 on the speedometer, so that's fine. We'll have the heat on and everything, I'm not gonna freeze. 22 and a half degrees I just felt was the best for me. This car has a heat pump, so Let's go in and drive. I am on my way. I started with 90%, um, already at 87, can you see that? Yes, you can. And my trip, ooh, it's bumpy, trip is here. I already used two kilowatt hours, consumption 249, watt hours per kilometer, hello. I just started um, and the kilometers, nine kilometers distance, totally fine. Um, I'm driving here on the highway. It, it was a few kilometers, I think two, two and a half kilometers from the charger to the highway. Uh, it's not the perfect run today since it, I'm, I'm not, cannot charge here uh, right on the highway in this area. I didn't want to start in Passau and then drive 200 kilometers to Passau to start the test when I can start it in Munich where I got the car. And the live stream is going, that's nice, we have nice weather, it's 4 degrees. 4 degrees in the morning. I will drive to Dickendorf, Straubing now. And I'm doing the 100 and... Yeah, yeah. Come on, I steered. How long do I have to steer? Oh, yeah, now I've got it. Self steering on. And... It's very windy, I feel the car moving around, but it's not too strong, it's okay. After steering in, in uh, sport mode on the, on the highway, that's really nice. And I have 19 inch wheels on there, 255s. Oops, wrong button, 255s. So that's, that's okay.
Okay, I, I sadly missed my 65%, which would be 25%. So I'm already at 63. My trip is trip A, 86 kilometers, 218 watt hours per kilometer. That's pretty good. But I don't know if I have the same wind that I had in the ID3 when I went to Munich where I had headwind and maybe I have tailwind and usually of all my tests I do on this road it's usually less consumption on the way back than there so we'll see and I'm still driving my uh, wrong button I'm still driving my 132 heat is on 22 degrees everything's fine I'm still going on. I'm at 40%, that means I have used 50%, oh it's so windy, 151 kilometers, that would mean 302 kilometers of range, my trip is trip A here, uh, consumption 229, it's very windy right now, the car is moving from left to right, um, and uh, usually the trip meter is not very correct, we will look at Google, well, we will look at Google Maps when we are at the charger. Um, it is 110 kilometers or so. No, here, 93 kilometers to the exit, 95 to the charger. Um, weather is nice, it's dry. Um, six degrees now, in between it was eight, which I doubt. So I really think it was because of the sun. I don't think it's eight degrees today, but six is really warm for a uh, end of January day. <laughs> but I will go on and see you at 75% or maybe that's already the, the ending point. Okay, status update, I'm at 15%, wind is very strong and my consumption went up. You can see that here, uh, I can't press and hold, there we go, I'm at 247 watt hours per kilometer. Um, I have, go back. I have 37 kilometers to go, the car thinks, ah, it's the wrong one, I can't press it, why not, it's too bumpy, car says I have 37 kilometers of range, <laughs> so it's exactly <laughs> what I will arrive, yeah, I can't press it with this bumpy ride, oh, and you have to press so long, come on. Oh. Um, so I had to slow down to 130, right now it is 120 zone, that's why I'm driving 125. But I slowed down to 130 and I turned down the heat from 22 to 21 degrees. Um, we'll see if I make it without a problem. I arrived with 1%, I had to slow down a bit, but I also went back to the 132 car says, 248 kilometers, and 
uh, consumption is 246 watt hours per kilometer. I will calculate the whole thing now and tell you in a second what that all means. So I calculated, it's uh, 245 kilometers according to Google Maps, the trip there and back, and I used 89%. That would mean 275 kilometers of range at 130 kilometers an hour on the highway when it's seven degrees like today, but very windy. So I'm guessing we had tailwind on the way there and headwind on the way back. That's why the consumption there was 217 and then on the way back, now it's 248. 40, 46, what was it was. Um, I cannot do the average speed because I don't know the time <laughs> uh, when I exactly left, but I can do that when I'm at home. I will put it here in the data. Here's all the data with temperature, with what oh, the wind is strong, uh, with uh, what I had on heat, the tires. We'll look in the tires in a second so you know everything. We have those tires here 245, 45 R19, but it was a good run. Overall, I had to slow down a bit. Uh, uh, we'll see what the average speed is when I'm at home. Um, that's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.